Welcome back. It's time for an exercise on loops. So you can go to bit.ly.ex5 and then you can open up that one and that should take you to Dartpad and it shows you this guest on Dartpad. So obviously you will take your coding here, copy everything and go and create a new project in VS Code and then use this coding there or make use of the questions in order to do your coding. So you're going to ask the user to enter an email address. Allow the user to keep the entering an email address until the address is valid. So you're going to use some sort of a loop there to keep on asking the user until the email address is valid. So valid, what is a valid email address? So an email address must contain the at and an email address must contain a dot. So if it doesn't contain an at or a dot or both of them, then it will exit or keep on asking the user for the correct email and when it's done it can exit. Question number two. Give the user the following menu to choose from. So you print out this to the screen. Make your choice. McDonald's fries, McDonald's Big Mac, McDonald's breakfast muffin and uh, the fourth choice is exit there. So you read the choice of the user and display what he chose using the switch statement. If the user enters a choice that does not exist, indicate the invalid choice. The menu must be shown to the user after every choice and only stop showing if the user enters 4, which means this menu must be in a loop. And then also inside of the loop must be your switch statement to print out what the user actually chose. So an example output would be to give the user the four choices. The user chooses, for example, one, and then you print out you chose fries. Then this menu must pop up again and then the user can click on two or choose two and then it must pr uh, print out you chose Big Mac and so forth and if the user types anything else than a one two three or a four you can just print out on the screen invalid choice and show everything again and only when the user clicks on four or chooses four then your while loop should stop and exit your program right so you can choose on which type of loops you want to use and how you want to do this so pause the video now and see if you can answer question one and question two right let's do this one quickly so i'm going to copy the coding here for uh, the main method and i'm going to close it and let's get back to the terminal so what i've done here is i've created gone into my dart project i created the directly called exercise four I've moved into that directory and now I can just go and say code with a space dot and that opens up Visual Studio Code for me. Right, once in Visual Studio Code, we will just add one new file there and I'm going to call it main.dart and I'm going to paste the coding that I took from the dart pad. Okay, so I've got question number one there and I've got question number two. So let's have a look at question number one. Firstly, we say we need to ask the user to enter an email address. So I'm going to say print please enter your email address now we allow the user to keep on entering an email address until the address is valid so let's declare an email address so we're going to say email var email equals stdin dot read just go back and make sure we've got that stdin dot read line sync now you can declare this also as a string there, no problem at all. And then uh, this will this one will pop up a bit easier. Okay, so we've got the email as a string and we read that back after we ask the user. Now we're going to use a while loop in order to check if this if this email actually contains the at and the dot. So I'm going to say while the email dot contains the at key or the at symbol but now what we want to do actually is to use the not there at the beginning so while this isn't this email does not contain the at and also so i'm going to use the and there and the email dot contains the dot and also a not in front of it so i'm basically saying while the email does not contain an at or the email does not contain a dot then we will do something and now we want to uh, want to basically print out to the user uh, this is not valid email not valid then we can go on and basically ask the same thing again 
So we're going to ask him to print his email address again. Please, let's say, re-enter your email address. So it's going to print out email not valid. Please re-enter. And then we're going to use that statement again in order to get back the email again. So remember your while loop. Step number one, initialize, declare and initialize your loop control variable. Test using your loop control variable and change it again. So in this case, we get the email. We check the email for the at and the dot uh, and print out it's not valid if it's not valid. And please re-enter. And then we get it again. So we test again. So we will keep on testing if it's valid until it is done and outside of the loop. And then we can print out valid email address. Right, so let's quickly save this one. You can go to terminal menu at the top, new terminal. And let's look at the output quickly. Right, so for this one, we will just say dot main dot dot. Please enter your email address. If I just type anything there, it's not valid. Let's say peter at gmail. Also not valid. If I say peter dot gmail dot com. Also not valid. But if I have the at and the dot, then everything fine. Right, so that is the challenge for quest. Question number one, uh, maybe you've got something uh, similar to this or totally different, but as, as long as it gets you the same output and it's still working, that is 100% fine. Okay, so question number two says, give the user the following menu, menu to choose from. So we're going to have a menu, make your choice, McDonald's fries. So let's just start off with that one. And you'll see why I'm doing this now, because we want to start off with a menu right at the start and then continue if uh, a valid choice has been made. So I'm going to use a do while loop. Now, just before my do while loop, I will declare the variable that we're going to use, which is going to be the choice, but I'm not going to give it a value. We'll give it a value inside of the do while loop. So inside of the loop, I will have to print out that values that or this uh, menu choices. So before we do that, I'm just going to start it off with a new line so that every time we can see the menu nicely. OK, so we're going to start off first with make your choice. Oh, not print, print. Make your choice. Then choice number one is McDonald's. Now remember, if you're using um, a single quotation mark there, please remember to escape that character. So it's going to be McDonald's fries. And I'm going to take that one and copy it. So I don't need to do that escape character the whole time. So it's going to be two. And number two is Big Mac. Then we're going to have number three. And that one will be breakfast muffin right and then the last one we'll have number four and that will just say exit so what will happen right from the start is the do while loop and remember we need to have while there and then a semicolon at the end so we will basically have while the choice is not equal to a four then it will keep on looping because if it's a four we want to exit so we get the choice somewhere we'll get it now there we uh, declare the choice somewhere we'll need to initialize it here we test for it and somewhere we will need to change it right so after this menu i'm just going to use the same print statement again so we have some extra lines there and then i'm going to have to get the choice from the user so i'm going to say choice equals now because we get back an integer or sorry, a string from stdin.readlinesync. We will need to convert that string to an integer and save the choice. So now we have the choice there. And now we can go into the switch that I mentioned. And for the switch, we can check now the different values. So I can go and say, well, let's have case number one there. And what do we pass into the switch? It will be this choice that we read from the user. Now, for case number one, we will print out you chose fries. And then we can break. 
So I'm going to copy and paste this as it's basically going to stay the same. It's just different cases. So we're going to have case number two and you chose Big Mac. And then case number three, you chose Breakfast Muffin. And then our last choice there is case number four. And case number four is, let's say, Goodbye. Because if it chooses exit, we want to say goodbye. So the menu shows, the user makes the choice, it goes into the switch, it's either a one or two or three or a four, or it could be something else. So let's just do the something else also. That is the default. And for the default, we can just print out invalid choice. Please try again. Right, and that's basically it for this one. So let's just quickly run through it. So at the at the top, we initialized or we just declared choice. We print out the menu. Then we get the choice from the user. That choice we pass into the switch. If it's a one, we print out you chose fries. If it's a two, you chose Big Mac. If it's a three, you chose breakfast. If it's a four, we say goodbye. And if it's not a valid value, it's not a one, two, three, or a four. We print out invalid choice. Please try again. So if the user chose a four, we will print out goodbye. And when it gets to the testing part, it will see that the choice is in fact four and it will exit the loop. But while it is not equal to a four, it will start again from the top, print out this again, again, get the choice, again, print out what we want. So this is your solution for question number two. So let's just run this one quickly and see how it runs. Just save first and run it again. Okay, it's still going to ask me for the email address. So let's say peter at gmail.com. And then it gives me my choices. Make your choice. McDonald's fries. Let's choose number one. You chose fries. Let's choose number two. You chose Big Mac. Let's choose number three. You chose a breakfast muffin. Now let's choose something else like a 6 and it says invalid choice, please try again or a 90 invalid choice, please try again. But as soon as I choose 4, it will say goodbye and we are done with this. So I hope you had something similar to this. Um, just go through this again if you're still uncertain about it and uh, please remember that this is not the only way of doing it. Maybe you've got an even more sufficient way of doing this. That is 100% correct. Thank you for watching the video. See you on the next one.